Poda, CQ Poda. Okay guys, well you're gonna have to forgive me. Sometimes I get excited and I forget to record. So this is the mount from the satellite dish. And what I did is I bought some uh, aluminum angle iron at Home Depot. And how I set this up is I basically put wood underneath the rails, set the plate on top of it, drilled through, and now I have the original hardware that was on the satellite dish. Uh, the backside are uh, square capture nuts, so they're not going anywhere. I gotta tighten these down, okay? So once I had that done, had the rails mounted to that, then I put wood underneath my solar panel. Let me tip this down just to make sure you're seeing this. Okay, so then I put wood some pieces of wood all the same height underneath the solar panel and then I put a uh, piece of wood underneath the plate I laid this on top I move my shot back out of the way and then I drilled holes through and the reason I did this with this up at the top is because there's enough room to add another 50 watt solar panel uh, which is like 53 bucks or something like that. So I'm probably going to end up getting another 50 watt solar panel to put up here. So So now actually all I have to do First I'm going to tighten the rails down on here because it might be hard to get to them after the fact nope. All right, so that's that. So now this will be able to take this up, put this on the pole and mount it, uh, adjust the angle. So here's the cables I bought, uh, 50 feet of red and 50 feet of black. Um, this already has both ends on it. Um, so what I'll be doing is I'll be obviously cutting off one of the ends uh, because I don't need it. This was cheaper to do than buying the cable and then the ends and then the tools to make the ends. Um, I only need ends on one side to connect to the panel. The other ones have to fit through a small hole in the brick um, so I can run them down into my shack. But that's all I need to do. I uh, bought a little extra hardware like I always do when I go to the hardware store so I have bolts. Um, I'll set these aside for the next panel. I'll be inserting this into my solar video. Uh, I lost footage when I was putting up the dish, when I actually mounted it on the pole. Um, and what I think happened is it, it literally took me two seconds to set that up there. I used an app on my phone to adjust the angle. So the solar panel is facing south right now and it's at a 56 degree angle. That's the maximum I could get that base to tilt with the solar panel. In midsummer, according to the internet, the angle should be about 74 degrees. But right now, uh, but I think it'll be fine. I think it'll, it'll be as good as I'm gonna get it. Um, I started getting solar this morning at about 8 a.m. And uh, even with pulling, I'm pulling about a, a half an amp out of the solar panel on idle. 
I'm my battery's already charged and uh, it was already charged by like 930 um, so so far I'm getting plenty of solar even yesterday we had very overcast day yesterday and I was still getting about a half an amp out of the solar panel which is great I cut the cables off and I'm trying to push the cables in uh, the rest of the way but I'm, I'm hitting something inside and believe it or not the the cable was put on the roof before the brick was done so it may be covered it may go in and make a weird angle uh, I think there's might be wood behind there too so I might end up having to drill a hole uh, in there to get the wires through I don't need a very big hole so I could probably just bring the drill up here and go from this side but I need to go up in the attic first and see what's there before I do any drilling from out here make sure I'm not hitting anything important there shouldn't be anything up here at all no wiring or anything like that but I just need to make sure and I want to see what's there so uh, I'm gonna go in the house and do that uh, I might have to wait a little bit but uh, I'll pick it up there later on so I drilled this out enough where I was able to get the wires into the hole uh, I got it connected I got it pulled down to where I want it in the house so now I'm just cleaning up the wires here with some zip ties. I think I'm just going to go right through here. There. Another one here. I don't want it tapping on the side of the house in the, in the wind, but that may happen. So now, just push this little bit of excess in here. That should be good. I brought up some duck seal. which I am just going to ball up and wedge into each side of this hole. I should have brought a screwdriver or something up here with me to help push this in. But we'll get enough of it in here. I think that'll be good actually. So all I have to do now is uh, hook up my wires to my charge controller and I should be done. It's kind of overcast today so I'm kind of curious as to what uh, what kind of sun I'm gonna get. So let's, let's get down, hook up everything and go from there. Okay, you'll have to uh, bear with me for a minute here. So I got everything connected inside. These are my cables coming up, coming in from the solar panel. This is a BioNO solar controller. This is strictly, this isn't an MPPT. This is just a, um, what is it, a PWM controller? Uh, is it PWM or PMW? I can't remember. But uh, it's just a basic controller. Um, solar panels come in, leads go out to the battery. There is this load port, but you're not supposed to use that. You're supposed to load, you're supposed to take your load right from the battery. Um, right now, I'm showing that I'm pulling 1.65 amps from the solar panel. It's uh, overcast today. It's supposed to rain later. Uh, it is about um, a quarter to one. So it's not quite uh, peak sun right now, but still I'm getting 1.69, 1 uh, 1.68. It's going up and down as you can see. I'll try to provide you an update every once in a while, once I've been running on this for a while, just to see, like I said, this is just to run my radios right now. Uh, in the future, I want to be able to run some other stuff, and who knows, this may lead to bigger and, you know, maybe even whole house solar system at some point, or, you know, maybe my garage or something like that. So, thanks for, uh, thanks for joining me on this. Uh, it seems to be working pretty good so far. And uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how much. Uh, I'm curious to see what, what happens if I. 
I am curious to see how long it will be before I actually drain this battery down to nothing, just with normal use. Um, I don't have the radios on all the time because I'm, I'm working a lot of the time. So I turn the radios off because I, I can't have them interrupting me when I'm on calls. So, but just with average use and getting average daylight, let's see how, you know, let's see how it works out for me. So, hey, thanks for watching. This is Tango Oscar Mike, 73. Take care.